don't know, should I have like an intro? Should I do it? Let's see. Hello. <laughs> All right, welcome to the very first episode of Kenna's Bitchin' Kitchen. I love cooking. My husband is a videographer, and we thought since we just finished our kitchen, it would be a great thing to t start a little channel and take you guys with us. I love cooking for my friends, my family. Pretty much I entice people to my, to my house so I can just cook for people, so. Okay, so for our very first episode, I thought it would be fitting to make some of my world famous smoked salsa. And it's kind of gonna be a sentimental episode for me because I'm actually getting rid of my first and only smoker I've ever had. And that's the only thing I've ever made this in. And so I'm excited to document the last time I'll be able to make it in my stand-up electric smoker. Um, I just got a pellet smoker yesterday, so I'm upgrading and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass it along to a good friend of mine. So I'm excited to share this recipe with you guys. A lot of my friends love it. I can't keep them enough of it in the house, so okay. I am. Uh, I'm gonna share with you guys. So here we go. What kind of ingredients have we got here? All right, we've got some tomatoes, and uh, when you're in the grocery store, you're gonna want to feel your tomato, and it's gonna want to just have a little bit of give, not too soft, um, and definitely not hard. You know, you want to be able to just just barely squeeze it. Uh, we've got red onions. You want one large red onion for this one. You're gonna want four large red tomatoes. Um, we've got serrano peppers. Depending on spiciness, you can do one or two. You really can mix and match. A lot of my stuff I play around, so if you like red peppers, do a red pepper. If you like spicy, do more. Um, if you don't like spicy, do one or, or you know do it without the seeds in it. And that'll take away some of the spice if you just you know cut it in half. And I'll show you guys that a little later down the episode. So. Um, Cause that's what I like to do sometimes. I like to put two in, but only one with the seeds. Kind of keep it, keep it a little tame. Uh, I got a jalapeno. I also do the same thing. It calls for one, but I do two, and I take the seeds out of one of them. Just uh, I like the the crunch of the jalapeno. I keep them in dices. I've got some lime juice in here. I've got a bunch of cilantro, and we're gonna do like a cup. I think. I think I usually do about a cup. Got some garlic. Um, I do about five to eight cloves, depending on who I'm with. You know, I'll ask the person, do you like garlic? Do you not like garlic? You can kind of play around with this one. And then um, we're gonna put some salt, and I think that's really it. We're gonna add some smoke um, and blend it up, and then it's good to go. You can eat it hot or cold. So Travis likes it hot, so we eat it straight out of the smoker. Yeah, um, but I like it cold, so I put some in the fridge for later, so. Alrighty, let's. Let's get to chopping. <laughs> Smokers out here. The barbecue rolling. pit. Yep. Rolling? rolling. Pit boss here. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so here's my baby. Here's what I was talking about. This is my master built pro series um, stand up four rack smoker. It's an electric smoker. I love it. Um, this stopped working on the, the temperature probe stopped working on us. That's the only thing that was the downfall so we'd get another one. Uh, but otherwise it's been a great smoker. It's taken me through so much stuff. So I like to do between 225 and 250. And this is kind of an easy salsa after you get it prepped where you can put it in here and forget it. You can let it smoke for 45 minutes or you can let it smoke for an hour and 45 minutes. Um, it's really like this salsa is so versatile in the way that you can add spice or you know you can make it more smoky by keeping it in there longer. It's not going to hurt the veggies. I usually like to keep it in there for at least an hour and a half. We like mesquite so I'm going to throw some mesquite wood chips in there right now. Definitely get the slippers here. Yeah, don't forget the slippers. Gang, gang. Put a little wood chips in there. And again, this is mesquite. So we just put it in there. Oh, oh, oh. Takes. Didn't take. Blooper reel. Oh, I just put it in wrong. Blooper <laughs> reel. Let's see. Just, yeah, get, just get full. this part. Don't, don't show that! Don't show Flawless. that! Don't show that! 
Okay, back to the prep station. Let's start with the tomatoes. I'm just gonna cut them in half at first. And I like to just make this like little V right here where I cut out the stem. And you, if you don't feel comfortable doing this with like a large knife, you can get like a little paring knife and do it at the end. Um, and then I just cut them like this. Or if you know, if the angle is right, I like to just cut, flip it up like this and cut it like this. Right. So um, you can cut it in fourths first and then just kind of chop off the end right there. That's actually pretty easy. Probably easier than doing it for the half. So I do say so myself. I'm actually gonna put my hair up because it's in my face. How many tomatoes is that? One, two, three, one more. I know. I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, everybody's gonna know how to how to make it, and then they're not gonna need me anymore. So, okay, Travis, get out of my camera. I'm sorry. Uh, first, you're gonna want to kick Audio your husband down. out of the kitchen. Always kick him out. Because never. Oh! <laughs> you gotta slip her down. Slip her down. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Back to what I was doing. Back to the, back to what I was doing. Okay, so I am just gonna put some tin foil down, and I'm gonna do that to eliminate the cleanup. Just a lot easier. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these racks that I put in the smoker. Probably end up using about three of them. I don't know. I usually use between two and three, depending on how much I make. Let's see. All right, well look, eh, almost. Okay, so I like to put the tomatoes skin side up first because what you're gonna do is olive oil and salt them. All right, now I'm going to half the onion. I just cut off the ends here like this. And then I cut, off, cut it in half like this and then about this time is where I peel the the skin off of here. And you're just gonna wanna use one. Right, you got one large red onion. And I'm just gonna half it again. And so with the, yeah, exactly. With the red onion, you're gonna just wanna be careful because it's gonna wanna come out of its, you know, it's, it's got layers, it's like Shrek. So it's gonna wanna come out of its um, skin. So just put it, you know, facing upward. And we're just gonna be careful when we olive oil these because, exactly, they're just gonna slide on out there. Obviously, Tank is bored already of me. He's like, Mom, just cook the food and drop it on the floor, please. <laughs> He's bored. All right. Okay, and earlier I mentioned butterflying the jalapeno peppers and the serrano peppers. And what I mean by that is um, you're just gonna cut it kind of what you like it'll probably lay best on the smoker this way so i'm going to cut it this way up in half but try not to go all the way through the jalapeno and then you're just going to kind of crack it open like this and then you just move it same thing with the onions i like to keep them just facing up the whole time um, and i'm going to just go ahead and smoke both jalapenos and both serranos and um, I'll kind of decide how spicy I want it um, later. Whenever I blend it up, I'll taste it and I might add some more. I'm gonna butterfly the serrano pepper, same thing. Just try not to go all the way through it. I mean, it's okay if you do. I just like it to be in one piece. It's easier to move around and stuff. Um, and I'm just gonna kind of pop it open like this. Okay. I'm getting hungry over here. <clears throat> Me too. All right, so then I've got garlic. All right, I said I was gonna probably do about seven. So six, I'll probably do the rest of these because you can never have too much garlic. Who doesn't like garlic, you know? And aliens, that's all I can think of. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone on earth likes garlic. So there are multiple ways to peel your garlics. And I swear I've tried every single one of them. 
Uh, I'm gonna go on a tiny little tangent about garlic real quick. We all know garlic. Some of you like it, some of you don't. Some of you love the smell of it on your hands, some of you don't. I'm one that love it. Um, but I hate peeling it sometimes because it's just such a pain in the so, <laughs> so anyway, um, I have tried the put it in a Tupperware and shake the living hell out of it. Uh, that's not worked for me. I have these guys that are great. When I found out about them, this is a garlic peeler. Because a lot of people, I've never even seen one of these. These are just garlic peelers. So Travis, if you could come in a little closer for me. So I've got three little cloves of garlic here and I'm just gonna throw it in this little cylinder. You just throw it in there, you can see it. And then you just take and you push down and you'll hear like the cloves coming out. Oh, look at that, I pushed it down. So this one destroyed the garlic. Uh, which is fine, I mean, it's not a big deal. It did get the clove off of some of them, you know? So, it worked, it's easy, but sometimes it does crush the garlic depending on how strong you are. Apparently I've been working out too long, so I would just super strong and crush them. Yeah, you gotta turn. Gotta stop working out. Yeah, you gotta stop that back. Ooh, all right, so see, but still, there's a little bit of like, stuff on here, I don't like it. Doesn't make me happy. So lately I found, that my easiest way is I take a clove, take a big blade, just push till you hear it. I push too hard. I have to stop looking up. Uh, but anyway, clove came right out. It is a little damaged, but it's not like it's not gonna get blended up later, so no big deal. Um, and then I just kind of push it a little, and then I find one side, peel it back, peel it back, and then it just kind of comes out. So I'm gonna peel the rest of these garlics, and then we should be good to go in the smoker, I think. Let me see. The only thing I don't put in the smoker in this um, recipe is the cilantro and the limes. This one, if something is not making you happy, just yeet that in the sink. <laughs> <laughs> and if no one got time for garlic that's pissing you off, unless you're running out of garlic, then I guess you gotta get pissed off by the garlic. Okay, so now that I've got the garlic out, you can do one of two things. Um, you can cut the ends off before or after you smoke it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop those off real quick. And then I'm gonna put it on top of just a little piece of garlic. This is kinda what I was talking about earlier. Um, just making like a little container to throw in the smoker for your garlic so it can get smoked as well. Um, just gonna throw it on there. And then I'm just gonna kind of make a little, you know, container. We've all like made a boat in water in the sink with some tin foil and a penny. Do that, go with garlic. I, what? <laughs> I've never heard of that. Well, okay, I remember making like something floating in the sink as a kid in like science class. Okay. to figure out how like things float. <laughs> I don't know, figure it out, okay? It's not that hard. So just make like a little, see, like. You're so crafty. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna throw it, I'm gonna move this little serrano. I'm gonna throw it right here. Okay, now that we've got all the veggies prepped, I'm going to grab my olive oil. And I'm just gonna do like a healthy dose of oil around here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start, you know, you can use a baster if you don't want to, um, but I just kind of rub my hands on the ingredients and kind of get it all around. I think using a baster, I guess it could work. I don't know, I just try not to make too many dishes and I'm just gonna go ahead and do it with both my hands because it makes most sense. But go ahead and flip those tomatoes over when you're, um, after you've you know, rubbed them around with some oil. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the um, onions and the um, peppers. But just be careful because we don't want the seeds to fall out. And we're just going to keep those face up. Oh, I didn't see this one broke off. So that's no big deal. I'm just here. And. All right, so now that I've oiled um, the veggies, I'm going to take my kosher salt and just kind of liberally apply some to everything. And it just kind of gives it a nice little taste. Extra pop so you don't have to put so much in later. Although, you know, guilty. 
If you wanna um, salt both sides, do it. There's, there's no rules. Um, you know, I mean, there might be rules if you got high cholesterol. Your, your doctor might have some rules for you, but other than that, just do it to it, you know? Just salt it how you see fit. Um, okay, we've got the veggies. I'm gonna take these outside, we'll put them in the saucer. That's my Michael Bay shot. I like it, I like it. Okay, so I am going to put the tomatoes in the smoker and then the um, veggies, and I like to put the tomatoes on top of the veggies so the veggies can catch all the tomato juice if it comes out. Yum. And then just, you know, if you have a smoker, you know this, but just watch your face when you open up a smoker. I'm gonna do a little bit more um, wood chips and then we'll see you in about an hour and a half, two hours. So I let it go ahead and smoke for about two hours. I'm gonna pull it out now. It's still at 225. Um, it's been at 225 the whole time. So um, let's, let's take a peek and see how these babies look. Yeah, those look great. I know you can't see them on camera because it's dark, but I promise. I ain't just lying. Ooh, look at that one smoked. Excuse me, Tanker. Alrighty. I have got, sorry. Um, all right, I just pulled the veggies out of the smoker. They were in there for about two hours. Um, I'm going to get my Ninja blender. I'm gonna throw in a few tomatoes first. Um, I like to do it in stages, just a little bit. Travis likes it super chunky. So what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of tomatoes in there, and then I throw in, um, I actually throw in my cilantro first to get it chopped up. I cut off the edges, like the ends a little, and then I like to cut it in like half or maybe a third, just so it doesn't clog up the blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw just like half of it in there for a second. And then I'm gonna go ahead and throw maybe one jalapeno and cut off the ends so that doesn't get in there. And I'm gonna throw one jalapeno in with all the seeds, um, and then I'm gonna throw I'm gonna throw one serrano in with all the seeds, and then I'm gonna taste it after I blend it up. And if it I feel like it needs a little more spice, I will um, I'll add some more pepper. Okay, let me throw the garlic in there. Pretty much all the other ingredients you can throw in. Uh, maybe throw in a little bit more tomatoes just to give it some more. Um, I just throw the onions in last because he really likes those chunky and um, if you throw that in at the end you can pulse it a few more times and you have a good blended salsa but you know well blended but the the onion really sticks out. So if there's an ingredient you want to be more um, as like the focus or like, you know, your your crunch or your texture in there, uh, whether it be a jalapeno or uh, the garlic, throw that in last with a, f a few, few you know, pulses or something and you'll get that, you'll get that texture in there. So um, I'm gonna cut the lime in half and since these are so tiny, I'm actually gonna use both the limes. Um, but maybe I'll maybe I'll put one lime in there and see how it tastes, and then you know I'll put the second lime in there after I, I get a, a taste test. Now that I've got some of my most of my ingredients in the blender, I'm going to pulse it and just chop it up a little bit um, and get all the ingredients like the cilantro and everything really really chopped up before I open it up, taste it once, and then add the rest of my ingredients. I still have half of the cilantro I want to add to it, um, so you know, we'll taste it and see what it needs after this. So let's get it to pulse it. Okay, and I like to pulse it um, and give it a few short breaks because all the big chunks of food will set to the bottom and then you pulse it again and it'll get chopped up and 
um, you know, you rest and they go back to the bottom. So I pulsed it a few times with a few breaks in between just to get it chopped up a little bit. Travis, you wanna see what the texture is right here Absolutely. now? Absolutely. So we're pretty chunky still. Um, like I said, I only did like three or four pulses for a maximum maybe like eight seconds. But I'm gonna get a chip and just try it. All right, I'll join you. And Travis will join you. Let's give these a try, shall we, babe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Should I get a, let me, let me see your camera. Oh no. You're gonna have to scoot way back. Mmm. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, it's spicy. Uh, <laughs> that's good. That's half the tomatoes. Yeah, that's extra spicy. That is extra spicy. I mean, we have half the tomatoes. Okay, so we have one full jalapeno. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's a little spicy. A little spicy for me. Um, so we have one full jalapeno, and these honestly were massive jalapeno. They were massive. <laughs> I mean, to fill the juice. What did it just do? It spilled all its delicious juices. It leaked. It leaked it. No, but these are massive jalapenos. Normally, I, I honestly could have done one, and it would have been equivalent of two. Um... But it's honestly a really good smoky flavor so far. So now what I'm gonna do is put more. I'm gonna hold off on the cilantro just for a minute, but I'm gonna put a little bit more tomatoes in there. Probably one more. Um, let's see, I ended up smoking one extra tomato just in case I didn't have enough. Always a good idea. Um, I'm gonna go, oop, go ahead and do one more. And let's see, I need to add some salt in there. Just a little bit, you know, yeah. I talked, what? Definitely. Definitely some salt um, and, and some more lime juice. But you know, I, we salted liberally earlier, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another pinch or two. I just keep a salt bowl on the counter um, and I just grab it. So, you know, do a few shakes, do a pinch or two. I'm now gonna throw in the onions and I'm just gonna kind of separate them up. And this one is like super, super crunchy. Um, I might not keep the outside edge of this one. It's not loving the way that that looks or, or you know, feels. So I'm gonna throw that in there. I'll do one more lime or half a lime juice. I'll go ahead and throw these extra two tomatoes on top. We'll get it another pulse or two. Okay, so here is where you're gonna look again. Okay, so it's a little less chunky than what it was earlier. Um, this is kind of how we like it. So we like it to have a little bite, um, to have you know different uh, flavor chunks. And so I'm probably gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna taste it for sure one more time. Uh, have Travis taste it. He usually tells me what it needs at the very end because he loves it so much. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm I'm happy with the way it looks, and we're gonna taste it. Come here. Try, try one too. Hmm. Very good, very mm. spicy. Yeah, oh yeah. The kick is there. I'd say it's definitely one of the um, spicier ones that I've made just because I think that these peppers were so large, but I'm really happy with the way it tastes. Um, I didn't use all the ingredients that I have here, and that's totally normal. Like I said, you should taste and, and do it to preference. If you think it's too salty, don't put any more salt. If you think you want it more, and if it is too salty, you can add some more tomatoes, even if you didn't get a chance to smoke them um, in, the, like in the later process. Add a few more tomatoes if it's too salty or too spicy. That'll dilute it. But, you know, add, subtract. Do what makes you happy in your tummy. Um, I'm going to I'm going to plate some of this. I'm going to pour it in a bowl so we can have some for dinner, and then I'm going to put some in the fridge and have it a little while later, um, cold. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you try it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you did, if you liked it, if you hated it. I don't care. Let me know. 
if you want to see me cook anything, if you um, you know want to see me cook something fun or just make something, shoot them in the comments. I will write them down and um, I'm hoping to have like maybe a chef hat grab bag of miscellaneous suggestions and we can have some fun this year. So if you like what you see and you want to see more, like, subscribe, 